I've, I'd even expanded beyond that. We, we've learned so much more even beyond our solar system. And what we've discovered is something quite remarkable. And I'll just, I'll just summarize it for you this way. And, and, and mind you, what I'm about to tell you is something we've only learned in the last couple of decades. Okay, right. so certainly in my lifetime as a scientist. But what we've discovered is that if you look at um, uh, what I call the vital signs of the universe, not the, just the solar system. The solar system is like this puny little thing on the outskirts of Milky Way galaxy, right? We, we live in the boondocks of the Milky Way galaxy. But if you look at the universe as a whole, and you look at what I call the vital signs. You know, you go to the doctor, they check your blood pressure, they check your, you know, uh, body, uh, body to, uh, mass to a uh, fat ratio and so forth and so on, just to see how you're doing. Well, we do the same thing with the universe. So I won't list them all, but one of them in there, what, among the vital signs is what we call the cosmological constant. Don't worry, right. I'm not going to get too technical. But the cosmological constant is very important. It, it first appeared in Einstein's field equation of general relativity. But it tells us, for example, um, how much dark energy there is in the universe. It tells us the age of the universe. It tells us a little something about how fast the universe is expanding and accelerating from another. If you ask the question, what are the odds that that cosmological constant has the value it has? Get this. It's one in a trillion, 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 trillion. Those are the odds. Now, you compare that to hitting the Powerball. The Powerball is like you have the odds of winning the Powerball is 1 in 200 million. So what we're finding out is that the universe appears to be designed for life, not just the solar system, but the entire universe.